Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV and behind me is an extremely popular mid-entry Class A motorhome. This is the Integra Vision, the 34G. Now the model number is the 34G, but this is actually tip to tip, 36 feet, six inches in length. Now this is a gas powered motorhome, 2022, all these new gas motorhomes, four chassis with the V8, the 7.3 liter V8, 350 horsepower, 468 pounds of torque. Let's start right up front. Integra always does things. They always have a nice design, right? We love the Integra diesel pushers because they look so good up front, but they do a really good job with the gas ones too. You can see the Integra, very clear up front, nice looking headlights, right? Projector headlights, they look really good. They have easy access to the hood. Maybe you need to get up in here. Super simple, right? Hey, you look, you have this big giant front windshield. That's the nice thing about having that Class A. You can take everything in coming down the road. You will notice here, this is not the automotive style that's bonded. You have the big uh, rubber weather stripping that's going around. Very common. It used to be very common on the older motorhomes. Some motorhomes, uh, you know, entry, mid-level, they still use that, but it works. Now let's go down the passenger side. This is on the 22K chassis. You have, a, I believe it's 3,552 pounds of carrying capacity, but we'll say 3,500, right? I'm pretty sure it's 3,552. All fiberglass construction. There's no paint on this, okay? So this is just gonna be your fiberglass, vacuum bond the walls with your decals, but you can see everything is done pretty neatly. This is a little dirty. It's been sitting out here, but this is a brand new coach. Chrome style mirror with the built-in camera. So you can help kill that blind spot going down the passenger side. Now, here's where you can see a little bit of difference between, you know, it has the smaller chassis, the 22K. You have a little bit of a smaller Alcoa tire, I'm sorry, smaller tire on the 22 inch Alcoa wheel. 235, 80, 22 and a half. All right, so let's move on. First bay over here. Now, again, something you're gonna notice this price point, you're gonna have fiberglass door, doors. You're not gonna have your aluminum slam latch. You do have the slam latch, but they are fiberglass. What I do like about this is that simple plastic, super easy to clean. They're using this little bit of unused space. You have some storage in there. Anything nice. that's easy to clean, you like it. Always a good thing. Now, right on the passenger door, you have your electronic steps. So we open, the steps will come out. There's and only two. Only two. When you close, the steps will go in. Now, there, inside, there's always that override switch. When you're at camp, obviously you don't want those coming in and out. You just hit that override switch. Those will stay in. Standard Class A motorhome lock. Nothing special there. Nothing out of the ordinary. What you do have up above the door, LED light. You also have, this is something you don't normally see at this price point. You have an awning for over the door. That's a really nice thing. Draining outside, you just want to kind of step out real quick. You don't get wet. Really like that. Standard grab handle. This is a two-slide coach with a large slide. So this one is really a full full wall slide on this side, the passenger side. Also on this slide, you have your awning as well as you have the slide topper, which is always a good thing. Frameless windows throughout this whole coach. Let's go to bay number two. Bay number two, again, nice plastic. You have an LED light to light everything up in here and you have a partial pass through. On the Class A gas motorhomes, you won't have that raised rail. You have the drivetrain going under there. So you're never gonna get the same kind of storage that you will on your diesel pushers. All of these Jayco's, the Class C's, as well as the Class A's, they are equipped with the easy drive. Uh, Jayco and Integra kind of do the same thing updated sway bars, sack shocks, and give you a better ride going down the road. Let's go on to bay number three. Again, decent storage. There's a lot of, yeah, a lot of good storage. A lot in of good here. storage in here. It's lit up, it's really nice. One thing I don't like, I just noticed this, and this one cost that much to really correct. They gotta put some arms on here. Cause look how so this doesn't swings go out. Into the, yeah. yeah, there should really be some uh, shocks and gas arms on here. That way uh, that doesn't happen. Not a deal breaker, but just something to keep in mind. This is really nice at this price point. You have a lockable entertainment center. And this is nice. Large television. This is at least 42 inches. This is pretty large. With your radio, outdoor speakers, as well outlets. as two outlets. Pretty nice. nice. It is lockable. 
which is always a good thing. Let's go on to bay number four. Again, a lot of storage in here. This is not a full pass-through, but you still have a decent amount. And, and I like everything is kind of nice and clean in here. They, they finish everything off. There's no wires hanging that we've seen so far. Nice job. They're on the other Jacob. side. <laughs> yeah. You got your marker lights, dual rear wheels, of course. This is going to be the exhaust for your Dometic furnace. This is a electric and propane coach. Heating will be supplied by either your heat pumps or your propane furnace. Bay number five. So here's where you're gonna see. Oh, so I like this. This is. Oh, really see nice. how that slams? Then yeah, <laughs> it just goes right into the side. So a couple of things here. Well, you have your propane tank, but a lot of places don't do this. They put the batteries on a battery tray. That is that is stuck. Awesome. Be careful! Be careful! Well, it's yeah, on the. Uh, on. There we go. So they didn't not tuck the plumbing up. But <laughs> this is really good because you now have access. If you want to, you know, do whatever you have to do, remove batteries, change them out, right here. Makes life much easier. I would have tucked it. Yeah, because that's gonna, that's gonna damage that. And also look what you have over here. Nice. All right, next bay, more storage. As you continue moving back, you have more storage here. Here's gonna be your solar controller for that big, uh, I think it's 190 watt solar panel that's up top but you can see how much storage you have yeah. going across it's a good amount of storage this is definitely more storage than we have 100 <laughs> percent. and then your final bay on your passenger side even more storage i do like that every bay other is, than the propane one is lit, is up, lit yes which is really nice really nice now moving to the back we're kind of pushed up on a fence here but you have access ladder to get to the top now you also have the stinky stinky storage all LEDs in the back, LED lighting, rear camera. All right, so you're gonna climb the ladder and you're gonna do your push-ups. No, pull up. Pull up, sorry, push-ups. Um, let's see, let's see get a good grip here, ready? All right, I can't get your full body, but three, go. One, two, three. There you go, look at that, with your mic on I'm and everything. I'm getting scratched up here. <laughs> it's good enough. <laughs> pull up, the pull-up challenge is complete. All right. So Moving on. Let's continue down. Not walking the into the here. electrical Just wires. Watch the uh, power cables here. Oh my god! So looking up on the back here, you have your window in the rear. It's going to open up nicely in the yeah, background. Yeah, guys, and this is not going to be a full view because I'm not going to get electrocuted for you. We, we just can't step back that far. If you're enjoying the video so far, we invite you to join the family. Hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you know when we go live and release new videos. Also, if you're on Facebook, we have a private group and we want you to join us. It's called Endless RVing, RVers Coming Together. We hope to see you there. All right, now on the driver's side, something that's coming pretty standard now with most Class A motorhomes, you're gonna have a tankless water here. This is from Gerard. We have no experience with that, but I have no reason to believe that it doesn't work. Well, now first bay going down the driver's side. Here's going to have your 50 amp hookup. Two air conditioner coats, going to be a 50 amp hookup. It's just, you know, nothing, no, nothing crazy here. No it, real. Yeah, and here's your access panel. So you can uh, put it right down the panel. A little disappointed here, there's no cutout. So if you have your wire through here, you're definitely going to get stuff coming up. Now this is going to be your standard Ford chassis, gas chassis, 80 gallons of unleaded fuel. For this V8. Here's the access to your holding tanks. This is a little weird. You normally don't see this in a Class A motorhome. Usually everything is sealed off. For whatever reason, Jayco and Tegra decided to do it this way. Kind of everything's exposed. Definitely something to think about if you're going to really cold weather uh, that that's exposed like that. Next bay. Here's your wet bay. You have your outside shower a little bit different here it's got the quick connect with the sprayer you know what i love when they do this this is yeah i, I don't that. know why newmar doesn't do this you know. have to kind of like figure it out but they this give you makes instructions it very clear you put the valves however you want you have your controls for your heat pump you also have i'm sorry for your water pump you also have controls for satellite cable and a bunch of other things in here. The filter, all your low point drains, everything is conveniently located right here. Next bay, more storage. This is the other side that we showed you. You can see plenty of storage going through. No wires hanging, pretty neat. And then let's keep moving on to your next bay. More storage. A lot of storage. Storage, storage galore. I could put a lot of stuff in here. Yeah. Slant, well. You can do it. Now you have the 
driver's side front slide. See, relatively large slide. Again, slide topper. We, we really like the slide topper, frameless windows. So next bay is gonna house your own AM5500. It's exactly the same thing we have on our coach. Plenty to power everything you need on this coach. And then finally, one more bay. Again, making room of any space. Why not use it for storage? So I am finished up on the outside. MJ's gonna take you on the inside, run you with the slides in, and then show you everything with the slides out. But before we go to the inside, guys, if you're gonna buy something like this, you're probably gonna tow a vehicle. You're probably gonna flat tow a vehicle. With so many systems out there, we choose NSA Tow Bars, who is a sponsor of this channel. Why do we choose NSA Tow Bars? Because you could save 30 to 40% off from the competitors. It's made in the USA, in Kansas, by American workers, it's simple and it works. And if you use the discount code ENDLESS5, you're gonna get an additional 5% off on a new setup. We encourage you, we're gonna put all the information below. Go check out their website, check out their reviews. It's really good. It's what we use, we recommend it. All right, join me inside. All right, so I'm gonna walk down. It's, it's a tight squeeze, just so you can see here. But you can go sideways, and then it does open up a little bit here, which is good. It opens up a lot, and the bed is fully functional. As you can see, everything is fully functional. You can open the fridge, you can open the cabinets. So we'll start in the cockpit area. So you do have a bunk overhead, and you gotta be careful because Izzy actually walked into, and I'm gonna do the same thing. It is padded. Yes, so if you are clumsy like me and you tend to walk into things, you got to be careful about that. Just duck a little as you get in. This is a huge cockpit area, huge. It just looks a lot bigger than ours. I, there's just, it's so spacious. So you have everything over here. You have your leveling system. Here's your shade, your powered shade, lights, accent lights, USBs. You have, um, here's your generator. This does have auto gen start. You have tilt steering wheel. You have, these are powered, six-way powered and swivel. Uh, driver and passenger seats. Then you have your cup holders here. You do have the, uh, there is a, not here right now, but table. All right, like a, a cockpit table there. You have a Sony, this is a Sony infotainment center and it's going to um, work with Apple CarPlay, which is great and Android Auto. So you have that feature, which is really cool. You have some space up here. All right, now moving over to the passenger seat. The seats are very comfortable too. More outlets and USBs on this side. Workspace. That's, That's actually, so. How is that compared to ours? I like this. I like it. it it's okay. I, I don't. I think I like ours a little bit better. This this is thicker, but it's a little it's a little shaky, and it doesn't come out as far. You really have to kind of sit up here. But it's a it's a nice feature to have if you work on the road. It's it's really really good. Then you have your powered shade. You have some cabinets up above. Okay, a little bit of storage area in there, and then you have the reading lights, which is nice. Okay, so if you're sitting, if you're traveling at night and somebody's driving and you want to read or whatever, that's a cool little feature. And now you have the bunk overhead, which is a really nice size. So you want to just make sure you unhook that first and then bring it on down. It moves quickly too. Yeah, it seems like it's well made. Right, there you go. That's nice. And this is a, a you know, a nice size mattress here, your ladder. Ladders right underneath, and also under here is the table for the cockpit, as you can see, okay? It's a nice little storage area for those things. And then just easy, same thing, just bring it right back up. It's moving nice and smooth. And, you know, it's gonna give you that extra sleeping space for your guests. All right, so before we get into all the furniture and things, just some highlights, you, do, you have padded vinyl ceilings, you have your interior speakers, okay? W one on each. Here's one of two ACs that Izzy had mentioned outside. So moving into this area, you're going to have, this is another sleeping area for you, okay? So this is going to, ah, they never make that Velcro easy. All right, so I'll show you the size of the bed. These are nice cushy, cushy cushions. Is that a word? <laughs> so there you go. All right, and then this comes down. And so you have a decent sized bed there. You could yeah, fit could. two smaller people. Oh, well, let me see. Hold it. So I'm about six foot. Well, I didn't push it all the way down, but just see. Let's see how much you're hanging off. Yeah, I mean, eh, not bad. Yeah, I could you're, you're taller than six foot, hun. Yeah, but I'm saying I yeah. here. It's not really Yep. Yeah, so that's, that's that is good. And up above there, you have 
three small cabinets. You got hidden hinges there. It's nice to stay up, and that goes all the way across so you can fit some good amount of items in there. Behind this is your televator. This is one of three. Push and hold yeah, not like ours. One of three TVs on the coach. So you have this one, you have the one in the bedroom, and then you have the exterior TV. But when the TV is down, just like on ours, you have that beautiful open window that's going to let a, a lot of natural light in. Also, on the other side of the televator, you're going to have two sets of outlets and you have some USBs as well. You don't have USBs on this side, just the, the outlets on the other side of my hand, but there you go. Really a lot of good light coming in. So now moving into the kitchen, once the TV goes down, you have a nice open counter space, solid surface countertop. This is a large sink. It's not a double sink, but it's big. Okay, stainless steel sink. This is, I really like the amount of counter space you're getting in here. And then you have your drawers on either side. There's your remote. Okay. Each one gets deeper and then space for a garbage can, little one, if you like a little more storage here. And then you have a lot of good sized cabinets in here. You have more outlets. Yep. Yeah. And they have, every, all the woodwork is really nice. Okay. You have like the two tone wood, which is, again, I, I don't really like the dark, dark wood, but it looks nice with the, the contrast. This is a high point microwave, large microwave. Boy, I like it, how a little like diamond pattern in here. On the back, yeah. <laughs> so it's little touches. And it is not a convection, but you do have an oven underneath. And then you have a three burner Furion cooktop, which is great. What I do like about this is the, the backsplash is real. Right? A lot real of times tile, like yeah. Paneling, but this is actually real tile. You have it in a couple different spots in the RV too. And then you have a nice deep drawer underneath the oven. Okay, now before we head into the kitchen appliances, let's actually go over into the other side. On the street side here, you're gonna have two recliners, powered recliners, which whenever I do this, I just wanna stop the tour and rest. Let's see how far they go back. And there's outlets up above. Okay, two on both sides. My glasses are coming off. These are very comfortable, very comfortable. And you also see you have USB right here as well. There's a lot of, a plethora of USBs. Deep cabinets up above the theater seats. Did I say recliners? I meant to say, I don't know if I did. I meant to say theater seats. Moving into the dinette area. So this is Integra's exclusive, or the, the dinette with no legs. That That's so like, exclusive. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is also going to break down into a bed and it's actually very easy. I'm not gonna do the whole thing to show you, but literally just lift up and this is going to come down. So it's very easy, very easy setup. A lot of windows here. So huge, huge window next to the dinette, which is great. I like the balances. Actually, I like yeah, these. They are nice. I don't like the woodwork okay. too much, but I do like the balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, it's, it's and the, the, color of the woodwork. Right. And the shades, you know, the roller shades, like, I'm not a fan of those, but they keep the, the light out. Good job. So now moving on into, this is a, we have something similar, like a hutch sort of thing. Ours is a full one. This has the cabinets up top. You can put a lot of items in there. And, and then, you get? Instead but of instead of getting hutch. that, you're going to get a 34 inch Furion fireplace, which is actually putting out a lot of heat right now. And I'm actually considering taking my jacket off and you have the shelf and here's more of that tile backsplash, which is really stuff. nice. Yes. Stuff, stuff like this would be good if we were in this at Christmas time. Cause then I could do like a little, I know I could put like a little village and stuff anyway, stuff. stuff, stuff. And also throughout the coach, you have it in the living area. And then also in the kitchen, there's all led accent lighting, which is very nice. Moving on into the fridge, huge residential refrigerator. This Look at this. Cool. Now this is what Izzy needs Roll to keep cool. all his food. I can't even imagine if we had something this big, how much food you would bring. You, of course it's me, right? Because it's nothing, it, it cause you don't eat it. You 500 don't, pounds of food. You don't eat the food weekend. that I bring. You, you ask why do I bring so much food? Who do you think's eating it? Huh? Him. Okay, moving on. This is, this is wide here, okay? It was, it was even wide back here when it was open. Uh, I'm sorry, when it was closed, you have a large open space. This bathroom is big. So now I'm a fan of this style of bathroom. I remember when we were on the Tiffin, when we were looking at our new mark, they had this style of bathroom. And although it takes away some space, I really like like this style. Yes. So then you have the door here that will give you that privacy. Okay. So that is nice. And then going into the shower, 
You're going to give an idea I want you to get in the shower too. So I'm 5'9". You got a lot of space. You don't have a lot of width or depth, but height wise, yeah, that's usually space. the problem. Why don't you go in there? And I do like, so a couple things that you like and I don't like. I like it has the glass doors. That's nice. I like that you have the built in towel holder. I don't like it as a two piece, but it's kind of at this price point, but there's, there's plenty of room here. Yeah. You're, they you're smart. six one. They put this. The, the, skylight. Sun, the skylight Take over, yep. To put the skylight yep. here to give you that extra space. Headroom. So good use of space. Okay. And then, like, this right here is my dream, right? Again, to put more stuff. But you have you have counter, actual counter space in the bathroom. Tiny, tiny sink, but you can, you're getting all that counter space. And then you have large medicine cabinet, which actually has three. You have a ton of room in here. You could actually stack extra, you know, washcloths or towels or whatever in here and then here's um, your fan up above which is working and your towel rod which is great and then you have your porcelain toilet pedal flush and you have some more room in here to keep more items there so in the bedroom you have a king size bed you have a decent amount of cabinets up above I'm not gonna open them all but let's get you some a lot of space to keep things Okay, you do have your reading lights again. You're seeing these a lot. I like those. Yeah. And little nightstand on each side of the bed. And you have outlets down there on the side of the bed. So that's good to charge up at night. Uh, another big window. Here's your emergency exit. And then a lot of space to keep clothes. So you have dual closets on each side where you can hang clothes. You can keep shoes down on the floor there, which is great. And then three drawers running across the bottom. These are not terribly deep, but you can st stack clothes in there, which is good. And then you have this area, which could be a multi-purpose area, whatever you like. You can put decoration. I always, I love decor. You could put in some things. What would you keep there? Nothing. Any, nothing. Clean. No yeah. clutter. Right. So one thing I noticed on this coach that's missing is that there is no carpet, which is always a good thing because he's a happy boy but even more importantly what everybody's going to want to know what is the price of this coach so it is one hundred and ninety thousand eight hundred and seventy six dollars msrp now, that is the msrp mm -hmm. of course if you're interested in this coach and you are in somewhere where there's a myers rv or if you're in new jersey contact terry from myers rv branchville new jersey let her know you saw this on msrv mm -hmm. And they'll work out a deal with you. Yeah. So in the comments below, let us know, is this a coach you've been looking at? This is a popular coach. Yes, a lot of people like the Integra mm -hmm. Vision. Very nice for Can what you get. Why. Yeah, yep. absolutely. So in the comments, let us know what you think of this coach. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching. And we'll see, see you, you on, on the road. road.